But you will see all the dirt coming out down below in, oh, look at all that dirt. All right, guys, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to perform the maintenance of cleaning the cold air intake from K&N on your vehicle. In particular, I have my 2020 Tacoma TRD off-road behind me, kind of hard to see in the shade, but uh, we're gonna be taking the cold air intake filter and cleaning it today. This is a fairly simple process, and if you buy the K&N recharge kit, it'll be linked in the description down below. It comes with the air cleaner fluid right here, as well as the air filter oil that you need to put on after you clean it so very simple so let's go ahead and let's remove the air filter and we'll go upstairs and I'll show you guys how we actually clean it with some water and you can easily do this at home in your sink all right, before we get around to removing the air filter right here, let's talk about how often you actually need to do this with a cold air intake. Because the benefit of having a cold air intake is that you never have to replace the filter. It's a washable, reusable filter. So from K&N, basically you need to do it every time you do an oil change. So every like 10,000 miles um, is roughly how often you need to do it. Some of you guys might have to change your oil a little sooner depending on your vehicle. My truck is a Toyota Tacoma 2020, which uh, Toyota recommends changing the oil every 10,000 miles. So basically I clean the filter every 10,000 miles and as you guys can see mine has lost quite a bit of that red color that red pink color that it had originally when I first put it in which basically means it's dirty and it needs to be cleaned it might uh, it's it's pretty bad so we're gonna take it off it's very easy to do there's just one uh, hose clamp right here that's an eight millimeter socket I'm gonna get my little quick little impact wrench take that off and we'll go upstairs all right, so we're upstairs and we're going to move into cleaning the filter. But first we gotta get into a little bit of disclaimer on the recharge system and the product that we're using. So this cleaner right here is definitely not the nicest thing in the world. This is a very strong cleaner. So it's highly recommended on the instructions for using this that you wear gloves, eye protection, and you avoid uh, breathing in these vapors, these fumes. Of course, I am upstairs right now. Um, and I'm just using precautions in terms of not breathing them in. Actually, I'm gonna be leaving as soon as I apply this and I'm not gonna be actually up here and be going back down to the garage and running some errands. So I'm not gonna be around here and I'm gonna let my furnace run to circulate the air up here, all that good stuff. But just know, I've done this before up here. I have not used gloves before. This is just a little personal disclaimer and I've been perfectly fine, but instructions, just gotta let you know. Instructions say to wear eye protection, wear some gloves and use all precautions because this is definitely some nasty stuff up here that you don't want to breathe in you don't want to get on your hands and that good stuff so we're gonna put this down to the sink and we're gonna spray this all over it and we're gonna let it sit and then we're gonna wring it out so pretty much the process and then we get to doing the oil when we head back downstairs so the first thing we're doing is actually spraying this out from the inside with some warm water to get all the dirt out so you guys will be able to see down below do it from the inside and more than likely this is not gonna get much dirt out it is the initial steps in this process all right, so now we move on to applying our spray. So we just spray on. This is the stuff you wanna avoid getting on your skin and breathing in. Then we just let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and I'll be back after that. All right, so 10 minutes has passed. So now we get to spray out the filter. And what we're gonna do is spray it out from the inside out. So that way you're not forcing the dirt to the inside. I do wanna clarify, you can apply the cleaner dry to this, like thoroughly coat it. I just like to wet it first. I'm pretty sure in the recommendations it says to apply it dry, but uh, I I like to do it this way. That's just me. But you will see all the dirt coming out down below in, oh, look at all that dirt. So we're just gonna keep spraying it out until we basically see clear water coming out. And then we're gonna look for any more dirt that needs to be expelled. Now we're gonna give it a nice little shake here and then we're gonna look around the actual filter and see if I see any dirt spots that are still really dirty and need to be cleaned. Now we got one little bug down in this one. You don't wanna spray from the outside initially, but get some bugs out and stuff, you can spray on the outside. So this looks really clean. I'm looking at it, I'm getting the right light. Uh, it looks very evenly clean. It's gonna be like a little gray because the pleats are all basically coated in water right now. So now that this was pretty much, I'm gonna say that's all nice and cleaned out. We're gonna let this dry now. And that is one of the biggest parts of this. And we can use some compressed air, but like I said, I'm gonna go run some errands. So I'm gonna let this sit here 
and dry for like the next hour and then maybe I'll take some compressed air to it just to make sure it's fully dry and then we'll move on to applying the oil. Do you want to point out this whole entire process takes some time so don't plan on driving your vehicle anywhere for the whole entire day is pretty much my recommendation because once we let this dry then we apply the oil to it we gotta let the oil sit for a little bit. It's a long process but the beauty of not having to ever replace your air filter. You never have to pay for it you just got to clean it. So about three hours have passed now and the filter for the most part is completely dry but we're going to hit it with some compressed air and make sure it is fully dry. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, so as you guys saw there, there was some moisture left in this and basically I ran the compressed air through it to get it as good as I could and then I let it sit for another 20 minutes and now it is completely dry. When I take a compressed air to it, no water comes out. So we can move on to the oil coating. So the recharge kit I got has the aerosol red oil and I highly recommend you get the aerosol version. Don't get the other one that just applies it to it. It takes way too much time. It's basically a spray paint basically is how it works. And we're gonna evenly spray the whole entire thing. You don't wanna douse it, you just wanna lightly coat the whole entire filter in this red oil. So I'm gonna set you guys up on a tripod so you guys can watch me apply it. Again, we're just throwing an even coat around the whole entire thing and then we're gonna let it sit for a little while, let the oil soak in and dry, and then we will attach it back to the truck. After you apply it, you do wanna go around and make sure that you coat it every place evenly. Right there, you guys can see actually lightly this spot. But that's all you're doing. You're just going around, spray painting basically pink or red, whatever color you guys think that is. Again, we're not going crazy. We're just painting the whole surface with the oil. So I left the filter to dry for about 30 minutes. We're now ready to install it back on the truck and the LEDs, if you guys have, haven't seen this video, I installed LEDs in the inside of the truck. Make this really easy to pop this back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my drill and we'll put the hose clamp around it and pop it back on. On there, nice and snug, good to go. And that right there, guys, is how you clean and recharge your k and air filter. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to slap a like on this video. Leave down in the comment section down below if you have any comments of any sort. What mods you wanna see coming to the truck next? I know a lot of you guys wanna see an exhaust and I'm lining that up very shortly. Oh, hit the subscribe button. You know, so you can see all the new videos. We're on the way to 10,000 subscribers. I'm trying to expand this channel, looking to buy a sports car here very shortly. V8 manual, that's all, all the hints you're getting. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna see any of the behind the scenes or see a little bit further into my life, uh, the DJ aspects and all that, but uh, DJ Rick out, or DJ, yeah, I'm not a DJ. Taco Rick out, oh, I am a DJ, DJ life, yeah, but I've had way too much caffeine today. Peace out, Taco Rick out, peace.